Hello students. In the previous video, we have discussed about the features of Photoshop and components of Photoshop. And in this video, we will discuss about creating new drawing in Photoshop. So let us start. You can create a new Photoshop document or drawing to create an original artwork. While doing so, you can define the document size, resolution, color mode, and background contents to create a new Photoshop document. Follow these steps. It means when you want to create a new drawing work, your new artwork. First of all, you open a new canvas or the work area and you set its setting according to your own like width, height, resolution, color mode and background contents and so this is how these things are done while opening a new canvas. So how can we create a new drawing so for this we should follow this step first select the file tab and then some options appear among them new select click on the new option and this will the new photoshop document dialog box 9.3 appears with options for you now when you click on file tab and the options will be new many options will be there and you will select new option from that this new dialog box appear you can see here this is new dialog box right so here you can write the name and here you can this is the predefined setting now here you can change the many things first the width of the document here you can uh, set the width here it has the unit has been taken as pixel here height it is also has been taken as pixel now resolution it is 72 pixel per inch now color mode rgb mode has been taken here now background content means white transparent whatever so you can using this drop down list you can select the modes units and here you can put the values or change the values um, by typing it right so this is how you can here you can change the setting of a new document now here you can see some new fact here now let us see the next thing is type the file name here you can type the file name by default time name is untitled one right type the file name and value for width height of the canvas as it is it has been illustrated there fill the value height uh, according to your need type the value of resolution here resolution right resolution means the image in one inches of uh, your photograph or artwork how many dots or pixels should be there the number of greater the number of the pixel in unit inch then the picture quality will be greater right so here now type the <coughs> resolution here you can say that 72 dots or pixel per inch in it means in one inch there are 72 dots the one the one inch square inch of the image is made up of 72 pixels right one inch right one inch is made up of 72 pixel clear now color mode rgb you can select the different color modes you can uh, and they have different different property so you can see here first some quick facts are there for an image to be used on the web 72 pixel per inch is the is suitable it means the if you want to use the image for the web page 
सेवेंटी टू पिक्सल पर इंच रिजोल्यूशन इज सुटेबल टू यूज द इमेज ऑन द वेब पेजेज यू विल हैव टू यूज द इमेजेस हैविंग सेवेंटी टू पिक्सल पर इंच रिजोल्यूशन नाउ फॉर एन इमेज टू बी प्रिंटेड यूज द हाई रिजोल्यूशन थ्री हंड्रेड टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पिक्सल पर इंच इट मीन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट एन इमेज एंड अ गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ इमेज दैन राइट द रिजोल्यूशन हायर इट मीन्स थ्री हंड्रेड टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पिक्सल पर इंच नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग हियर यू कैन से यू मे चूज अ सेटिंग कलर मोड हियर कलर मोड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कलर मोड्स आर देयर द कलर मोड डिटरमाइंस विच कलर मेथड इज यूज टू डिस्प्ले एंड प्रिंट द इमेज यू आर वर्किंग ऑन इट मीन्स देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द कलर मोड आर जी बी कलर मोड सी एम वाई के कलर मोड लैब कलर मोड सो देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द कलर मोड एंड दे हैव दे आर डिफरेंट कंट्रास्ट एंड द फीचर्स यू कैन सेलेक्ट डिफरेंट कलर मोड्स सो हियर यू कैन से यू मे चूज द सेटिंग फॉर कलर मोड द कलर मोड डिटरमाइंस विच कलर मेथड इज यूज टू डिस्प्ले एंड प्रिंट द इमेज यू आर वर्किंग ऑन यू मे चूज आर जे बी रेड ग्रीन एंड ब्लू हियर समन कैन आस्क वर्ड डू यू मीन बाई आर जी बी आर स्टैंड फॉर रेड जी स्टैंड फॉर ग्रीन एंड बी स्टैंड फॉर ब्लू आर जी बी मोड ऑफ द कलर आर जी बी कलर मोड सी एम वाई के सियान मेजेंटा येलो ब्लैक दिस इज अनदर कलर मोड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज लैब कलर बेस्ड दैट इज सी आई ई एल दिस इज अनदर कलर मोड एंड ग्रे स्केल राइट ग्रे स्केल so this is how you can use the different types of the color mode and here you can change the setting of color mode here right when you will click on this drop down list several options will be there and you can here also select the value of its memory or depth now next thing here next point fifth choose a setting for background contents it means what type of the background you uh, desire for example white color transparency so many things you may choose to use white transparent or a specific color background behind your image in the lower right corner notice that the image size which changes as you adjust the setting for the new and here when you select the background content it may be transparent white or whatever color you select right then these all setting when you create uh, set these settings here you can see the image size which will appear according to these settings right now when you have done these all the things click on the okay button so here last options will have been given click on the okay button once new work place is created right so if you have um, set these all the settings then click on okay and now new work place will appear this is how you can create a new drawing area according to your settings so how will you do it select uh, file click on the file menu and then click on new option the new dialog box will appear now uh, set the document settings and now click on the okay <clears throat> now here another thing is now inserting an image and text how to insert the image and text so for doing this to insert an image into a photoshop document follow these step we should do these things first of all create a new canvas as we have done earlier it means we create a, a canvas for new drawing as we have just done here by using this now <clears throat> our canvas is ready now create a new canvas or drawing as mentioned in the previous section now fir now we click on the file tab and where from where many options will be there we will click on the place 
then what will happen the com my computer or place will be open where some photographs will be there you can <coughs> browse them so, so here by using here desktop libraries computer you can also click on this and you can find the photograph from your computer so here some default uh, place is there sample pictures here and you can get the image from here so select any picture you want and now click on this option this is place right now here click on file and then place from menu bar which turn will display the place dialog box this dialog box is known as place dialog box right and you can click on any picture to, uh, which you want on your canvas and click here which has been written this is place button click on this place button and now browse through your files folder and select file and click on place button this will place the image into canvas it means if your image is here you can click from here otherwise you can click on these options these places and you can select the image right then the image suppose here broccoli the image of a broccoli has been selected then this is your canvas area then you can drag it and resize it according to your need right and you can here put the pointer of the mouse and you can drag it anywhere in this place or resize it after when you uh, when you give you have you have come given its actual size or the proper size as you need and its place right click on it and then select the place and the image will be inserted now look at this what is being said here browse through your files folder and select a file and click on place button this will place the image into the canvas here image has uh, come to the canvas now you can click and drag the selection to resize the image or bring the mouse pointer somewhere in the middle of the image until the mouse pointer changes to the black arrow now click and drag the place the image into desired location right <coughs> now when you put the pointer in the middle you can drag it and then after that when the suitable condition is there or desired condition is there you can right click and here option will appear after that you click on the place button now the this image will be inserted right click on the file and select the option option 9.6 here from the pop-up menu that appears uh, to place or insert the image into the document if you want to place then place click on the place button now suppose if you want to write the name of this picture then what will you do to insert the text into the document suppose you want to write the name of the picture right click on the text tool here in the uh, text tool tool, uh, tool panel will be there you can click on the text tool and from the tool panel and here various options will be there to write like this select the horizontal type tool click on the horizontal type tool and if you want to write vertically it means like, like this click on the vertical type tool but here we will select the horizontal type will make pop-up menu appear from the click or oh, click on horizontal type tool now select font style size and um, anti-aliasing method and color from the option bar you you select the setting uh, uh, setting of the font and after that click on the image here it has been clicked here now write type the name and the name will be typed here any text can be typed is it okay now you can see that image and text <coughs> got inserted into the document window the here the image of broccoli and its name has been inserted here in the document window now your <coughs> artwork is ready the next option is saving the saving the document then to save this document what will you do once you do the image editing you need to save your work for feature reference for future reference you save your work 
to save your work follow these steps how can we save the image select file tab and then from here click on the save button from the menu bar if you are typing the file your first time you will make the save as dialog box appear right if you are typing <coughs> you are saving your document first time here save as dialog box appear you can see here this is save as dialog box and here first of all you should give your name uh, give the name of the image here right you can also select the um, format of the image right here photoshop psd format has been selected you can also use jpeg jpg format whatever format you want and write the name after that you can click on ok button clear then the image will be saved browse through the folder give file name right it means when you click on save save as dialog box appear and then write here the name of the file and then click on the save button right so this is how your file will be saved right it means uh, and if your file is already saved save as dialog box will not appear generally the modification in the drawing will be done automatically okay and if you want to rename the file then you will have to click on the save as dialog box from the file menu now next thing opening an image opening an image involves loading an image into the photoshop editing the following are the steps in involved in opening an image it means what if you want to make some changes in the previous uh, any uh, image you have then you will open this image into the photoshop memory or photoshop application this is known as opening an image so what steps we can do we can follow to, for opening an image so let us see to open a file we click on the file tab then we click on the open right to open the file we click on the file tab and then we click on the open uh, button open option from the mean uh, from the several option from the menu bar now this is start open dialog box appear here you can see this is open dialog box right this is open dialog box and here <coughs> this is same as the um, place dialog box but here <coughs> when you place uh, use place dialog box the image will image is inserted into the work area and here the image will be in uh, opened right so select the desired image and click on open right then then what will happen click on file then from option click on open the open dialog box will appear select any image and now select your file and click on open button here we we say here uh, this penguin has been selected this image has been selected you can see here now click on open open button now the file opens into the own window right called the image window now this file which you have selected will be opened into the uh, image window now you can uh, modify it you can make some changes in the image so this is all about this video in the next video we will learn how to use different tools of the photoshop